Okay, so this should be the last one of the Reddit tutorials for now. We're just going to add the text field at the top for actually changing the subreddit and making our URL dynamic. So um, let's just go into activity main and we're going to add a couple things to the top of our layout here. So I'll create a linear layout and do match parent and wrap content. And inside the tags, let's give it an ID of lin layout. And we'll give it an orientation of horizontal. And I'm going to use a weight sum here of 100. If you want to know more about weight sums, I have a tutorial. It's a layout tutorial. And I, I'm pretty sure I talk about weight sums. I'll try and find it. And I'll put a link here if I am able to find that. Yeah, so anyway, let's, okay, we'll put it in edit text. And this is what's going to actually hold our uh, subreddit that we're going to change it to, that we can change it to. And actually, the, because we're going to use a weight sum, we're going to change this to 0 dp. And the height, we'll just do really 60 dp. And so then we go layout weight. The layout weight for this parameter will be 75. And then the uh, last little piece here is going to be for the button. So we can just throw the button in now. So create the button and just do the width, save thing, 0 dp. And do our height of 60 dp. And then we can do our layout weight of 25. And that will just occupy the last little bit there. OK, let's go back up to the edit text here. And we'll go text size equals 15 sp. No particular reason there. Let's put a hint here saying uh, type a uh, sub subreddit. We need gravity. Let's do bottom. And then the text alignment will do center. And that should be good. Um, we're going to go down to our list view and go uh, put this below lin layout. There we go. And now we're going to go into our button and we'll put some text in our button. And we'll just say, Refresh feed, will that fit? Sure, why not? Refresh feed. And we'll do layout gravity center. Oh, what happened there? And what else do we need? We need to gravity. We'll do gravity center too, so it's sitting in the middle. Oh, we need an ID. So ID button refresh feed. And did we give it? No, we didn't give this an ID either. So we need to go up and give our edit text an ID. So we'll go edit text. Feed name. Okay, so it should be good. We're just going to have a field at the top here. We're going to type our subreddit in and then click on refresh feed. And we can check out different screen sizes, but I don't really care. I'm not trying to make it fancy. Looks good on a 10. Let's see what it looks like on a little baby screen. Yeah, that looks bad, but fine tune this a little bit. We'll just change the weight some. Okay, so now it should look good on it should look good on all screens. Let's get the 10, change it, and that looks fine. Okay. Not trying to get too fancy, but just so it actually looks okay on all screen sizes. So now for this section, we're just going to follow the uh, documentation. Uh, where am I? Let's go here. And we'll go to the uh, retro. Let's just Google retrofit. And okay, retrofit Android. And where is it? That one. And we need to go to which section? For the website. And they have a little outline here. Okay, so we're gonna go back to this sort of method here. So we're gonna copy this because remember we changed this so that it it would only uh, basically be for a single URL. But we want to make this dynamic. We want to be able to now change the URL. So we're gonna change this to feed, and this is gonna be still get feed. And in here we're gonna type feed, and that's gonna be feed. Actually, let's call it uh, we'll call it feed name. That's a better, much better description. And here we'll go string and we'll also pass the feed name. Okay, let me just look this over really quick. Uh, this should be dot RSS. Uh, and this is gonna this section right here is gonna be our base URL. So we can delete that and we can do base URL and do plus. Or actually I think in main activity we already passed the yeah, we already have the base URL, so we don't care about that. That's fine. We just want the dynamic section in here. And if we go, so in case you guys forgot, um, this is what the RSS Reddit URL looks like. This is our base URL right here that doesn't change. And so only this section changes. So well, technically only this little bit right here. And so what we do is we just insert this, this variable right here and we give it a name, we call it feed name. And then we just replace that variable uh, with whatever we want. So we can comment this out. And this is actually all we need to do. I can give it some, some labels up here for you guys. So non-static feed name. And maybe down here I can go static feed name. 
and that's it. It's pretty simple. So that's done in there. Now we can go back to main activity. And uh, I'm going to actually change the way I do this just to make it a little more organized. I'm going to create a method called init, and I'm going to throw all of this inside of init. So I'm going to come down to the bottom here, go private void init, and I'm going to grab everything that we've done so far. I'm going to grab up to retrofit and cut it out. So we have literally nothing in here. I'm just going to throw that into init, and that should be good. And um, now let's go up top here, and we need to create a button for our refresh. So we can go uh, private button, button, refresh, feed, import button. And we also need our edit text. So edit text, uh, feed, name, I guess. Actually, let's go m feed name. And I want to create one more variable. It's going to be the current feed. So I'm going to create a string. I'm going to call it current feed. And this is, this is what's going to change every time that we change that feed. It's just going to make us make it easy to manage that field. All right, so let's go down into uncreate and let's create a log for starting since we didn't do that just for completion. And now we'll um, declare our button. So button refresh feed equals oops button find you ID art ID dot button refresh feed. And we could have actually declared it in uncreate, but that's fine. And declare our feed name equals edit text find you ID art ID dot what was it? It was edit text feed name. Is that the name of it? Just double check. Uh, click this. We have feed name. Yep. Yeah, okay. So that should be good. Now we're going to go down below init and we're going to attach an onclick listener to our feed name. So set onclick listener, new onclick listener. And inside this onclick listener, we just want to refresh the feed. So we want to take the parameter that's in the edit text field and we want to submit it to retrofit. So first we want to test to make sure that it's not null. So we can go string feed name equals m feed name get text to string. So if um, feed name dot whoops not intern equals. So if it's not null, so we can put an exclamation mark down here. Um, then we want to do some stuff. So we want to go current feed now equals whatever feed name is. Whoops, I didn't finish that. Current feed equals feed name and semicolon. And then we want to call init again to refresh everything. And then else we can just call init. And that's it. Now we need to go down into retrofit or inside of init, sorry, and we just need to change a few things here. So we're going to type our, you can see that this is red here because it's asking for the feed. So we just pass our current feed and I believe that's actually all we need to do. We just need to pass this, um, this is because this is now a dynamic parameter. So if we go back to the feed API, this is a dynamic parameter it's accepting. Um, yeah, so I think I think that actually should be good. Let's run it and take a look. All right, so we have our app open and currently there is no feed. And one thing I wanted to test was whether or not it would crash if I submitted a empty feed. And you can see it says an error occurred, but it doesn't crash, so that's okay. That just means it was unable to pull the information, but there's no subreddit up there, so that makes sense. All right, so let's type funny and hit refresh feed and we get a crash. All right, never works the first time. <laughs> Let's check out the log and see what happened. So we got, it looks like it actually did start pulling information. So get name on a null object reference. So I'm guessing it tried, yeah, so it tried to pull an author name and there was no author name. Um, I thought this was going to happen because I remember I saw some. Uh, so I'm just gonna take this null pointer exception here and I'm going to go try and catch and null pointer exception. And then I'm going to grab this and I'm going to throw it inside there and print out, nope, print out our null pointer exception and e dot message. And um, so now I'm just, now I just have to think, is this going to cause any problems? If there's no, if there's no author, will this cause an issue? I know that it's always going to have a title. It's always going to have an updated. Um, it may not always have a image. So that's this one right here. But we've already, we've already um, dealt with that because the universal image loader will assign a default image if, if there's no image. Um, this is the link to the post. There's always going to be a link to the post. So really the only thing we have to worry about, yeah, is either the author or the image. The image is dealt with, so the only thing we'd have to worry about possibly getting null is the author. 
So I'm probably okay to do this. So if I take posts, say it creates an error, I'm gonna do the same thing except for the author section, I'm going to say uh, none, because that should be the only scenario here, where, because that's not gonna be null, that won't be null, that won't be null. I don't care if that's null, because it will get assigned a default image. So just setting that should probably be okay inside of the catch. And one thing I actually just realized was um, with our app, I, I put the wrong default image. I actually wanted to load a Reddit image into the drawables for our default image. So I'm gonna go and grab that. So I just got this uh, Reddit alien image here. I'm just gonna, just gonna copy this. I'm gonna go over to drawables. I'm gonna paste it in there. And Reddit alien is fine. And then I'm gonna go over to our custom list adapter class and I'm gonna change the default image. So right here we have the image failed, but I'm going to change it to our uh, Reddit alien. So now it will set that, that default image if um, for some reason the thumbnail is null. So that's good, let's go back to main activity. And now this should be all handled, so let's run the app again. Okay, let's try again. Refresh feed, and we get another error. All right, let's take a look at our new error. So here we go, we have a null object reference. Uh, so it can't get the entries. Well, I know that was working before, so the only thing that I've changed in this regard would be in here. And yes, there, that slash should not be there because up at the top here, the base URL has a trailing slash. So that should fix that. Let's take another look at the app. Okay, try typing uh, pics once more up here. Hit refresh feed. There we go. Looks like our app is now working. Cool. And we see that default image is the, uh, the Reddit image, which is the one I just uploaded. And let's try a different subreddit. So we'll go to funny. And that one loads just fine. And something that probably won't work is news because I believe the RSS format is different. Yeah, so it's not it's not pulling the thumbnail correctly. But so you, I mean, if you want to use different thumb, uh, subreddits, you're gonna have to do some some handling. Uh, but this that's all I'm gonna kind of do for this. You could definitely accommodate the app to be able to go to this subreddit, but you're gonna have to take a look at the like print print the RSS to the log and see what you're dealing with, and because it's it's just gonna be different. That's all. So that's gonna be it for this video. It's gonna be all I'm gonna do for the Reddit app. If, if you guys have any more ideas that you want, maybe something you wanna to add to this app or just and any ideas at all, I'm open to whatever you wanna do. If, even if you guys, like if some of your students and you're working on projects, maybe mention your project ideas and who knows, if, enough, if there's enough demand, then I will make tutorials on it. The next thing I'm planning on doing is I'm probably gonna work on our Instagram app and I'm gonna add some I'm gonna incorporate Firebase to it and uh, pull images from Firebase and add them to that card view in our in our Instagram app. So that's probably gonna what I'm gonna work on next. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this video helpful. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.